DaVinci Resolve 19 is most likely just around the corner. And uh, I just made this really weird discovery um, in the Fusion page. And I think this is actually a mistake. And so I figured um, I would make a video about this and hopefully this gets uh, resolved. So have you ever noticed the proxy mode in Fusion in DaVinci Resolve doesn't really seem to do anything? which is weird because these other settings do work. So I can disable my motion blur. Um, the high quality option is more related to specific parameters. Like in the render 3D, you've got the anti-aliasing low and high quality. So you can basically toggle on what you're viewing using this button here. Um, and usually when you turn motion blur back on, you have to kind of refresh the frame. Um, and even auto proxy works. So if you are changing a setting, you will see the quality drops while you're making an adjustment. So that's great. But yeah, proxy doesn't really seem to do anything. And if you come up here to fusion settings under general, you do have these proxy settings, but uh, this doesn't really seem to make any impact on the fusion page. So if I have this set to eight to one, uh, we should see a much lower resolution. If we go into Fusion Studio, we've got these nice big buttons, and I actually prefer this because I can just glance over there and see what my settings are. But more importantly, they actually work. So if I go into Preferences, Fusion Studio has the composition and the general uh, global default settings, but under my general setting here, you can see I can change the setting just like this, and it actually updates inside of my comp. I can also right click on the button and change the setting pretty easily. You can do the same with auto proxy. And we also have this additional button to auto proxy on certain tools. All the tools are none of them. But in DaVinci Resolve, for some reason, uh, this is not an option. So I think what happened was whenever they decided to hide this little menu right there or get rid of those buttons, something weird happened with the right click options that you have from Fusion Studio. And the other day I was right clicking in my timeline just to like set my auto range. And I must have like accidentally right clicked way over here. And look what we have. We've got the same list of proxy quality settings. So if I drop this to eight, you can see the quality drops dramatically and I can see my animation in real time and kind of get a better sense of timing and things like that. So like, why is this way over here? Why is this hidden? This feels like a mistake. And another weird thing, if you come over a little bit to the right on uh, about frame 10 and you right click, you get the auto proxy update options. <laughs> so both of these feel like uh, a mistake, like whenever they decided to hide these buttons, these other options got like pushed over here for some reason. I'm not really sure. So Blackmagic, if you're watching this, um, I would really like to see the same big fat buttons that we have in Fusion Studio and the ability to just simply right click and change our proxy settings. And also I would like the Fusion settings to actually work. Um, I know some of these work just fine. Um, and then, you know, some of these you have to actually start a new fusion composition. Like for example, the color right here, this would not make any impact on the current composition, but the next time I start into fusion, then um, these will work. But proxy just doesn't work at all. So if you're watching this and you've ever wondered why proxy doesn't work, there's the temporary fix for this. Hopefully again, they, they fix this. The one thing that you have to be mindful of though, is when you go back to the uh, edit page, it stays that way. It doesn't like, you know, with motion blur, if you turn off motion blur, the edit page will still render your motion blur. So I would really like it if the proxy mode like automatically disabled when you flip back over here to the uh, edit page, because yeah, it should just uh, give me the full res, full motion blur and all that stuff. Because one of the things that you see people kind of complain about is the fusion performance. And so I think just having a easy way to just quickly adjust your proxy settings and get like your real time playback. Uh, that's super, super nice. And up until recently, I didn't know that this menu was even here. And so uh, I kept going up here to playback and I would set my timeline proxy resolution to a quarter. And this has a whole different host of issues that I don't really want to get into. But anyway, yeah, if you've ever wondered why proxy mode doesn't seem to help with performance, it's because it's set to one to one by default. And the only way you can change it is if you right click way over here on the timeline and access this hidden menu.